Welcome to another episode of Data Star. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do it now so that you never miss an update on a new episode. Let's jump into today's episode of Data Star. Welcome everyone to another episode of Data Star. In this episode we have another very interesting company for you that we are going to do an analysis of and what we will do in this episode is like what we do in every episode that we will pick up the company we'll pick up the role we'll look at what this role is about and you will get a good idea about what what you should be expecting from this role and the kind of preparation that you need to do if this company and this role is your target role so let's jump into into today's analysis firstly let's look at the company this company is walmart labs india this role is based out of bangalore and this role is data scientist role so all of you would know that walmart is one of the largest companies in the world and walmart has an analytics division based out of uh, india which is called walmart labs and this division has been is there for a significant amount of time so even before data science and analytics became buzzwords this division was already there in india or have been in india for some time right so here what the what walmart has done as walmart labs has done is that it has given you an idea about the scale of things that you'll be working on so what they have written is each week more than 220 million customers and members visit our 11000 stores under 69 banners that means 69 brands in 27 countries and e-commerce websites in 10 countries right with 2017 fiscal revenues of 486 billion dollars that means more revenues than the combined revenue of all it companies in india all it companies in india even more than that Uh, Walmart employs 2.3 million employees worldwide. Now, the reason I am reading out all of these statistics for you is so that you have some idea about the scale of things that you will be working on, or you can expect to work on in this particular company when you are working in Walmart Lab. And that's why a good fit for for this role would be someone who can work at scale. That's the first thing which I believe is a, will be a strong requirement at uh, for this role. right so one who has worked with large scale data is something uh, that will be significant part of the role right so now after describing walmart what walmart labs has done is that they are trying to tell you a little bit about what walmart does walmart labs bangalore does so what they have written is we use technology for the charter of building brand new platforms and services on the latest technology stack to support both our e-commerce and stores businesses worldwide right so this is what the mandate of the team based out of bangalore is after that the next part is interesting here the company now goes a little deeper and helps you understand that what which team it is this so this is the data science foundation team it's a little weird name it almost seems like the name of our course certificate in data science foundation but anyways so data science foundation and it says it's a first of a kind initiative within walmart which provides fundamental data science solutions through algorithmic apis that can be leveraged at walmart scale essentially what they are saying is that we are building products for walmart and then we make these possibly these products we deploy these products on cloud and then we release apis so that walmart stores across the world are able to actually use this so this is the sense that i get when they say algorithmic apis yeah okay second point is what they have written is our vision is to democratize data science solution through reusable services right so again very important point so oh, they are talking about a cloud kind of deployment uh, seems like to me uh, that can be used by stores across the world and how data science foundation team at walmart labs is planning to achieve that is provide one place for all fundamental data science algorithms fantastic empowering users to develop best in class solutions in a faster and more efficient way through robust reusable api so you would see every job description has some or the key uh, terminologies in one episode for example that we had done with gartner if you remember they they were talking a lot about text mining unstructured data here the focus is not on text mining but the focus is on api so expect that there will be questions in the interview regarding your familiarity and your comfort level with apis and how machine learning is actually being used in uh, real world scenarios and how you can actually uh, leverage 
uh, machine learning through APIs. That's first. Second thing what has been given is here is your opportunity as in what you can expect. So you would see that what they have written is that you will have the opportunity to work as a multidisciplinary team of data scientists and engineers. So both data scientists and data engineers to build systems that drive efficiencies by using state of the art algorithms to solve complex business problems across domains. So nothing rocket science there. This is what most data scientists or science teams are right. So nothing very specific here. Now, if you look at here, some of the example use cases can be text analytics, image processing, time series analysis. So now they are given some examples here. So what they have that written is that what your responsibility is going to be and your responsibility, what the job description says is that you will be analyzing large complex data sets by developing advanced statistical and machine learning models. You'll utilize big data analytics and advanced data mining techniques to direct the gathering of data, assess data validity and synthesize data into large analytics data sets to support project goals. So expect that at Walmart scale, the kind of data that you'll be dealing with, you should, though this is a data scientist role, but you should be quite comfortable digging into the technical part of things also because somehow i have a strong feeling that you should be comfortable with a little bit of big data a little bit of no sql databases etc if you have that background this you'll have a big plus point here after that the role mentions lead build and train scalable models using best practices so which is understandable this is what you do in machine learning utilize product mindset to build and scale and deploy holistic analytical products after successful prototyping which is the product part of data science that how data science can actually be productized so this is what they are talking about lead small teams and participate in large data analytics project team by serving as the technical lead for projects so it's a little vague uh, partner with senior team members to assess customer needs and define business uh, questions so this is going to be an interesting part of this role because if you are able to do that you will know as a data scientist, what the customer pain point is, I'm representing it at CP, what, what the customer pain point is. If you are able to understand it, you'll move forward in your career very, very fast. And that's why this seems to me like a very good uh, opportunity. Apart from that, you would also see that some of the other parts about uh, this job you can read them here right but what i will be moving towards now is the qualification part required for this role so the qualification mentioned here is bachelors with years of relevant experience so what they're saying is that we'll consider you even if you have bachelor's degree or master's degree or phd degree what is important however is that you should have some solid experience you should apply here if you have some solid experience what that means is that this is a great role for someone who has been, let's say, in a data analyst role earlier, who knows what retail as a domain is, who has worked on machine learning projects, and who's serious about doing some high quality uh, data science and analytics work. So this is a great fit for someone like that, right? So second thing you would see here is you should have experience in an analyzing complex problems and translate it into analytical approach. We have discussed that experience in statistical approach. We have discussed that you should have some experience in machine learning, not some. In fact, very good experience, supervised and unsupervised. Uh, and they have mentioned some of the machine learning algorithms. It's almost like a lot of machine learning algorithms have been mentioned here. After that, what's been given is you should lead mentoring junior statistical analytics and analyst on approach and results. So what they are saying is that's why that there are data scientists is not the starting position. Possibly there are junior data scientists also. So that's why this is not directly an entry level position, right? And possibly you would possibly have some data analysts also working with you. So you sh they are looking for more strategic kind of work from you. After that, what has been mentioned here is experience with the statistical tools like R, etc. is a great advantage. Uh, experience with the statistical programming languages like R and Python is required. Experience with SQL and relational database experiences platform, sorry, uh, is a great advantage. And experience with big data platforms, etc., is a great advantage. So all in all, for this role, expect in the interview a little bit of everything. Expect that 
a little bit of big data, SQL, little bit of data science, little bit of customer management, a little bit of, let me just write this, write this no SQL also, understanding business problems, etc. So it's a combination of multiple things. And that's why if you're from a technical background, you should apply for it. If you're not from a technical background, I would not recommend you to apply for it because the role to me, it seems very, very clear that they are looking for someone who has a, some technical background apart from that what is will you what you will get brownie points for is this you should have some domain knowledge of one or more divisions in retail retail in itself is a vast area so they want if you're from say a competitor like target right or jc penny or if you've been doing data analysis or data science for one of these companies it's a great plus point if you have published papers or given talks in data science forum this is what we recommend you also as our students to do please do that please start giving talks internally in your company start publishing paper another point here is published paper or given talks in leading academic and uh, research journals again i say the more you let people know one thing is to just have skills the another important thing is to let people know that you have these skills this is where the magic starts happening. And this is what you, uh, this is a clear example of uh, Walmart Life trying to say, tell you that we will give you a, some, some advantage if you have the skill. Experience with the GPU CUDA for computational efficiency is great. So as I said, it, this role requires you to have some technical experience. So that will be great. Apart from that, rest of the things are also mentioned here, which are which usually go in typical data science role. So this is the analysis of a data scientist role at Walmart Labs. This is a fantastic role. This is a role that will help you give you the brand of Walmart Labs because Walmart Labs as I said, is one, was one of the early movers in analytics and data science in India. And this is a role that will make you really good in not only in data science, but also in the technical aspects of data science and the opportunity for you to grow will be very, very good, right? So this was my analysis of a data scientist role at Walmart Labs India. I hope you found this useful. And I hope that through this data star series, you're getting more and more clarity about what is required, where you should position yourself. For example, here in this role, if you're from a technical background, you would not want to just apply for this role because uh, if you're not from technical background, even if you apply, the chances of you getting rejected are high. So what I'm trying to do this through this data star series is give you those insights and help you see which is the right role for you and which is not. So. This was another episode. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next episode very soon. Take care.